As Kim Navarro knows, that recovery is needed partly in the body. I was just feeling really overwhelmed because I had lost so much from my cancer treatment. And partly in the soul. I was really sad and, um, and depressed, to be frank. So after treatment for a cancer of the white blood cells called multiple myeloma, she signed up for the 12-week cancer wellness program, which meets twice a week here at Ohio's Tri-Health Fitness and Health Pavilion. We do cardio, we do strength training, we do flexibility, we do balance training if it's needed. Um, we just kind of help them develop a, a routine that they can sustain after the program's over. But it appears that fitness after cancer may do more than sustain. The American College of Sports Medicine reports it improves cancer-related fatigue, quality of life, physical function, anxiety, and depression, especially when people come together to do that exercise. Reed Bartlett, a prostate cancer survivor, says it's helped him a lot after COVID-19. You know, you had the COVID thing and then the couch thing and then the surgery thing and so I gained a little weight and lost a little muscle mass and they're giving it back to me. Most everybody says it helps them regain a sense of control over their lives. I think some of those non-measurable things are the most important. This program is donation funded so there's no cost to a patient. It's a national model for other health centers says wellness specialist Karen Sims especially as we learn the value is often priceless. I feel so much better, so much stronger. The program, you know, lines out exactly what I need to do, so I'm not guessing. And I can see progress, which in my situation is just really fantastic. Researchers now conducting several trials in breast, colon, and prostate cancer to continue to see how fitness plays a role, even in survivorship. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.